Hi folks, this is Dr. Michael Revere from Eartrim.com. I'm here to explain to you what we're going to be uh, doing once you pick your dog up from his ear crop. Okay, so let's pretend you just picked your dog up from surgery and now you want to know what you're supposed to do. If you live anywhere within an hour's drive of our clinic or an hour and a half drive, two hours drive of our clinic, we expect you to please come into us every three days for the next two weeks. During this th three day period, I'm going to change the bandages, which get kind of uh, old and smelly after a few days. They have to be changed. We're going to clean his ears and restretch his ears. Dogs don't stand just because you cut them. They have to be trained to stand with taping techniques, and that's what we feel we're experts at here at eartrim.com. So please take advantage of the fact that we've been doing this for 30 years. Don't try to look at the Internet and try to tape dogs yourself. You can't imagine um, how many dogs I have seen over the past several years where even other veterinarians, vet techs, medical doctors, they all think they know it all because they're in the medical field and so they they try to take their own dog's ears and I have seen them destroy their dog's ears by taping them too tight etc it's not as easy as you think it is folks please bring the dogs into us eartrim.com every three days you do not need an appointment let me repeat that you do not need an appointment you come in when you're ready every three days with no appointment please do yourself a favor though and check our business hours before you come out the business hours are very, very different than other businesses. Some days we don't open till 3 p.m. Other days we open at 8 a.m. We're open every day but Tuesday. And I want you to come in every three days with no appointment. But I need you to check the business hours before you come out. Because every single day there's somebody who's come out during the wrong hour because they didn't check our business hours. So let's repeat that. Every three days we want you to come into our clinic and let us check on your dog. We're going to see if there's any problems. If there are, we're going to try to correct those problems. If there's no problems, we're going to take the ears. We're going to continue to doctor and monitor the ears every three days for two weeks so we can get the dog to heal. It's very important that we go through the first two-week healing process. Let the professionals handle that. That is us. The second thing we want you to do is take your dog home, and I want him kept in very cold conditions. I want him kept at 65 degrees, and I want him kept in the house as much as possible. He's only allowed outside in this heat for five minutes at a time. Heat and ear cropping do not mix. They, they will almost always cause the ears to get infected. So keep him nice and chilly, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, at your house. Two, make sure that you give your dog his pain meds every six hours as recommended by our staff and by the video that we show you in the clinic on how to give them every six hours he needs his pain medication of course making sure that he maintains his, ap maintains his appetite and all the other warning signs that we go over with you on the, the uh, administration of pain meds based on our pain med video that we show you here in the clinic and then another thing that's important i want you to make sure your dog is full of food at all times a dog that is full tends to be more sleepy and lazy and will sleep more. And that's exactly what we want him to do over the next two weeks. We want him nice and drowsy and on his pain meds and so full of food that all he wants to do is relax and sleep. Okay? We also prefer you not keep your dog in a cage. Some people think I'm going to put a big uncomfortable e-collar on my dog, which is those funnels. I'm going to put him in a cage and wow, that's the answer to all my problems. Folks, that's only be the beginning of your problems. That makes a dog completely and utterly miserable. During the Vietnam War, uh, the prisoners were kept in little confined cages, and we call that torture. So we don't want you to do that with your dog, especially with a big e-collar around his head. We want to run it around your house watching TV and uh, happy and free. We do not want him being punished by being kept in a little cage unless he's super happy in that cage, which some dogs are. For whatever reason, they're comfortable in a cage. Most dogs are miserable in a cage. And if you have a miserable dog who just got an ear crop, you're asking for problems. So let's think, let's pretend we're the dog getting the ear crop. We want to pretend that we're going to try to make his life as comfortable as you'd want to be kept if you just had an ear surgery. Okay? So after two weeks, you will be coming back to me. 
By the way, the visits are not free when you come in. The minimum cost is $15 for a bandage change. If your dog has got ears that look irritated or slightly infected from head shaking, we're going to want to give them an air out, which means no bandages for several days, and give them an antibiotic shot, a very powerful antibiotic shot. We use a combination of two powerful antibiotic shots that we feel is stronger than, than most other vets give. It's what a dog needs when they're getting ear crop and they have a little infection. We're going to go ahead and give that to him. That's $25 if he needs an antibiotic shot. If he's done the worst possible thing, which is rip out all the stitches, which some dogs do, then it's $65. The most people spend is around $65, $75, and that's only in the worst case scenario. Most people just spend $15. But whatever it is, this is your dog. You've hired us to take care of his ears. The first thing we want to tell you in the world of ear cropping is there is never a time where there's some kind of problem that doesn't happen in the world of ear cropping. Remember, we're dealing with animals who don't know how to listen to instructions. And it's very important that you understand that we've got a difficult job making sure your dog heals through this first two week period. Work with us, not against us. Let's work together, get him healed on day 14. We're going to go ahead and take his sutures out, which is $29. And then the hard part is over with. If he's a Doberman or a long-eared dog, whether he has a short crop like a military or a long crop, they still need to come in once a week for five weeks minimum. So we can train those ears to stand. This includes all your long-eared dogs, your Great Danes, your Boxers, your Dobermans. Any long-eared dog needs to come in every week for five weeks. Your shorter-eared dogs, such as pit bulls, and kind of corsos don't necessarily need to come in that much, but let us tell you when your last visit is. Don't you try to guess that yourself. So anyway, this is Dr. Michael Revere signing out. We're going over what you're supposed to do during the first two weeks after you pick up your dog. Remember, we answer the phone seven days a week, 713-818-7956. After hours, you may text us at 713-818-7956. My son and I, who are the doctors here, make every effort to be there, available to answer your questions at all times. Thank you again for calling EarTrim.com.